Hey everyone, how's it going? I've just got back from my month-long trip through Egypt and Jordan. I'll be talking about that in just a moment, as well as going through what other adventures I've got in store for 2019. But first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys, because I recently hit a couple of milestones. On my YouTube channel, just surpassed 70,000 subscribers, and went over 10,000 followers on Instagram, which basically means I can now do the swipe you up link thing in the stories, which is something I've dreamed about doing ever since I was a kid. It's incredible. Also, thanks to everyone who's watched the Central America series. That's gone down a storm and everyone seems to really like it. I'm really proud of how that came together. If you haven't watched it yet, then as soon as this video finishes, go and watch it right now. Okay, cool. So then, Egypt and Jordan. Uh, I went backpacking there for one month by myself. Basically hitting up the classic spots like Cairo, Luxor, Aswan, then checked out the Red Sea and Haggadah, Sharm Sheikh and Agada, Sheik in Dahab, and then in Jordan, went to Oman, did some day trips to the Dead Sea and Jarash, things like that, and then went down to Petra and finished up in Wadi Rum. Now Egypt and Jordan are very touristy places, but I think a lot of people just travel around there on a tour, and I've done tours before and they've been great, but that's not what I want to do this time. I could have also gone the other way and done like couch surfing, like my good friends Nick and Amy from What The Foe Podcast recently traveled through there and had a lot of fun with the couch surfing, but I didn't want to do that either. I wanted to treat this like a normal backpacking trip, you know, staying at hostels, booking everything as I went, and just trying to make friends along the way. So, you know, take a place that's not really known as a backpacking destination and treat it like a normal backpacking trip and see what happens. That's what the video's about. Now, obviously, countless people have solo backpacked to Egypt and Jordan before. I'm not trying to pretend I'm some kind of pioneer or some shit like that. I'm just saying it's not really perceived as a backpacking destination, so, that's what I went to do, and just you know, see how easy or hard it is to travel around those two countries. As for the answer, well, you have to wait for the video. It should be online in April, I'm guessing. Uh, it usually takes about a month to edit each episode in my spare time. Um, it will be two episodes, a trailer, and then, yeah, two-part series. Um, the series will be called Egypt and Jordan, so see if you can figure out how I'll split the two episodes. Anyway, so what other adventures have I got in store for 2019? Well, normally I don't like to plan the entire year out because I like to wait till I've got back from one trip and then see what mood I'm in for what I want to do for the next one, you know, and try and mix it up rather than just sort of going through the motions of different trips. But this year, because of just a couple of opportunities and events that have come up, I've kind of got most of my year's travels planned out, which basically means I can tell you what's coming up for the rest of the year. So, like I said, Egypt Jordan series will be online in April, but the next trip I'm doing will be in May. And in May, I'm going to be traveling for two weeks around Pakistan. I was approached by Will, who runs the Broke Backpacker website, uh, he runs these tours there, and he asked me if I was interested in coming on a tour for a couple of weeks and making a film, and I was like, absolutely. Like, Pakistan is one of those countries that, you know, if you speak to people who haven't been there and don't know much about it, they're like, oh, don't go there, it's scary and dangerous. Whilst if you speak to people who have been there, they absolutely love it. They say it's one of the most beautiful countries on the planet with some of the nicest people you ever meet. So, can't wait for the trip. That's coming up in May. Now, in June, I'm going to be heading back to Italy. The last time I was in Italy was... Uh, on my older videos when I did that road trip and the whole you know shoulder thing happened which I've talked about a billion times before but this time I'm going to be going to Trentino and being up near the Alps there. The reason is I'm going to this sort of travel social media conference called Traverse 19. Uh, it should be loads of fun but the video won't be about the conference, it'll be about sort of the activities we do around it, exploring the area and the mountains. So that should be a lot of fun and then in November um, I'm going to be heading back to the States. The reason being, i got a friend's wedding in Virginia, and so then after that, I'm going to travel around by Amtrak and do DC, Philly, New York, and Boston. Now, New York, obviously, I went to a few years ago at the end of a different trip that I did, see if you can remember which one. But the other cities, uh, I only visited as a kid, so it'd be nice to go back there, explore them as an adult, catch up with friends, and do some touristy stuff, hang out with some locals, and uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So that's three trips planned out, Pakistan, Italy, and the States. Now, I do have a bit of time in August to go on another trip, and um, if you're wondering what happened to the idea of doing the Mongol Rally, like James and I looked into it, and whilst it would be an awesome, awesome adventure, um, it's just a time scale of it, like, from when the when they have the opening rally to when they have the last finish line parties, eight weeks, and to drive through all those countries in eight weeks, you're basically gonna spend the whole time driving. It's gonna be too rushed, so we thought, nah, let's you know, let's do those countries another time, but actually spend some proper time there rather than just driving through. So that means I've still got a bit of free time in August, and hopefully I'll get James involved in that trip as well. Um, just hopefully some are very simple, easy and warm, um, because you know Egypt and Jordan wasn't the warmest, I was there in winter, Pakistan's gonna be freezing, Italy might be all right, 
And then the states in November will be freezing cold as well. So if you guys got any suggestions of somewhere nice and hot and easy and fun that James and I can go and get drunk in in August, uh, please leave them in the comments and maybe we'll, maybe we'll head out there. Okay, that's enough of me rambling on for now. So yeah, Egypt and Jordan will be out in April and plenty more adventures coming along the way this year. So thanks as always for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll also be launching a Patreon account soon, which will be another way you can help support the channel so I can get this content out quicker and give you access to some exclusive stuff like behind the scenes outtakes and more things like that. So that'll be launched hopefully sometime this month. So yeah, sit tight and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.